And why girls on the autism spectrum have difficulty sleeping? Why indeed? Let's get right into it right now. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan and I have autism and ADHD and I make weekly videos all about this because I'm obsessed with helping autistic individuals reach their potential create a better life, but urge them towards an existence that they love and they feel so proud of. We can all do these things together. We can create a better life and create a mission and, and, a, and a program and a, and a motivation to, to help with many people. So if you want to join me on this mission, on this movement, then drop a subscribe by clicking on the notification bell down below in this video or follow me on all my social media platforms just at the Aspie World. I upload four videos every single day. Okay, so uh, autism and sleeping difficulties. Now, girls on the autism spectrum are no exception to this rule. Autism comes with a bunch of other stuff. Autism creates the ability for your mind to run at a thousand miles an hour. If your mind is going at a thousand miles an hour, how on earth are you ever going to keep up, right? Now, if you're not able to keep up with your mind, if you're not able to do those things where you uh, feel like, oh, I can do this now to relax, I can do that to, to stay awake, it, you know, all of those things encompassed in a, a specific uh, environment cause emotional deregulation and also sleeping issues. And what I mean by this is very, very simple. If you're a female on the autism spectrum, and you are trying to be the most productive in your day. You're going around your day and you are just killing it. You're doing all these tasks. Your mind is active and you're keeping that dopamine high. Just going through these tasks and you manage to do all your lists and using all these hacks and using these apps to get through everything. And at the end of the night, you close your eyes and try to sleep. It's not going to happen. You would just spend the entire day kicking ass. And now you're like, okay, brain calm down. It doesn't happen. You need to create an environment where you start to calm yourself down in order to that like, you can then go to sleep. You know, it's kind of like saying, it's like having an airplane stop in midair. It's never going to happen. The airplane is going to have to, it has momentum. It's going to have to slow down gradually and, and unpack. Now, in terms of your brain, it's exactly the same. So this is why, this is what I'll tell you to do. Drink caffeine before bed. I know it sounds really, really like opposite, but stimulants help the autism brain because it helps increase serotonin levels, which will then increase your ability to sleep better. I know it sounds crazy. Bear with me. So have caffeine before bed. Maybe come and see a cup of coffee before you go to bed. But create a, a setting, an environment, you know, put on candles, dim the lights in your living room, watch something that's calming, maybe stop television an hour before you want to go to sleep, read a book or something, but nothing that's going to be too exciting. All of these things is designed to help you go, okay, I'm, I'm entering slumber period and I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to have a good rest. Now, if you want to download my free autism life hacks PDF book, you can do it at autismhacks.net. It's completely free right now. And you can join the movement. Guys, if this video was helpful, please share it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.